everyone, I'm Holly, and today I'm making a masculine type soap. It's a men's cologne type. I'm actually mixing a couple of together today. I'm gonna add in the coconut milk and give it a nice blend. Oils have cooled just a little bit, so it's a little bit cloudy. Gonna add in the light solution now. And this cooled off really quick today, so it does have a little excess lilac on the top, but it won't affect my batch in the long run. So I'm gonna get the lye blended into the oils. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a stir. These big pots can be a little bit harder to get all the soap emulsified. But I find that if I give it a stir a little bit, I'll find it's a little further along than I thought it was. Just needs that extra help. Okay, so I think what I'll do is go ahead and split it off for the colors because I will be giving it more of a blend. I think I will give it one more stir. I want to pour off one at the very least. I forgot this part there for a second. I'm gonna pour off the one so that I can put a different fragrance into it than what's going into the rest here. So with this one, I'm going to put in this Gorgeous blue, it's Twilight from Mad Micah's. I like to work with ultramarine blue on its own for the most part, but I'm out. And so I went looking through my stash and this looked like it was gonna be a nice potent blue. So we'll see. And then this is the fragrance oil for this picture. Ooh, that is a nice blue. <laughs> Almost matches my gloves. Ooh, I like this blue. <laughs> I might have to see, we'll see how it goes. I might have to go back and buy a, a big amount of this. It is pretty. I will probably give this a blend here in just a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna add in the fragrance for the rest. It's a little bit more of a darker, and it's supposed to be a bit of a tan color. It says it plays nice, so here's a hope it. Smells so good. This one is a little bit, well, this one over here is cool water type. This one is Country Boy from Just Scent. So this one's a little bit more of a Patchouli, maybe some cedar wood type. They really complement each other. I need another spatula. They complement each other nicely, and these big batches take so much fragrance that I find that I'm <laughs> mixing a little bit more as I, you know, growing pains is. I have a lot of stuff, fragrances and such on my shelf, but I don't really have enough to make these huge batches.
Now since this one is going to go tan, I thought, make a messes. So what I thought I would do was that I would make an accent color black. And this is Wicked from Mad Mike as I wasn't in the mood to deal with charcoal directly today. So I thought I would mix up some of this Wicked color. And then into the big pot, I'm going to add in just a little bit, because I only had a sample amount of it, but of mocha mica from Nurture Soap Supplies. I just thought that would kind of help it along a little bit. Hopefully it won't make it gray. It looks like it has more of a red tone to it. Some browns can be more towards the uh, silver side. All right, let's get these all blended up. It is still quite thin. Oh, it's a light trace. It's just getting started. Tapping out the air bubbles. That looks like it's going to be more of a charcoal. That might work out just great. And then into this one. Oh, that looks like it's going to be super nice. Super duper. Just what I was hoping for. I do need to switch over to this big one for just a little bit. looking quite nice. Looks like it's starting to thicken up my cool water type one. Alright, so I'm testing out a new camera today and its battery life is not good. <laughs> So I just had to stop and go change the battery. So that's unfortunate. I go ahead and put in quite a bit of this brown color. Looks like we had just a little bit of mica there that needed mixed up. Going to attempt to get this in. Both of these have gotten quite thick in the last little bit while we were waiting. In fact, I think I'm just going to put the rest of it in. I might save some for the top. Yeah, I think I'll save that. This blue one has gotten quite, quite a bit sick. I don't know what I'm going to name this one yet. As I'm making it, I might have the name out there on the title by the time this goes up. 
was thinking maybe rugged would be a nice name, but we'll see. I don't know if this looks rugged or not. So now it seems like it's it's pretty nice. All right. I kind of want to pour this along the same general lines. So I guess I'll just whoa. I gotta I gotta look at it from the back side. wanted to go with something a little bit different than I normally do. I asked my husband what he thought. He didn't have any great ideas today. I was kind of counting on him having the ideas. He's been doing so good recently, but he was just busy. Didn't really have time to think it over. You can't be creative when you're doing your real job, you know. So this one did not get stick blended quite as much. So it's still really quite thin. All right, let's see what we could do with this. Oh, there, bleh, bleh. If I could talk. Maybe just, I'll try to do some lines here. Not looking for anything super precise. I was going to see if I could do anything with this blue here. It's not quite as dark blue as I kind of would have liked, but it's a nice blue. Kind of a denim, makes you think of denim a little bit, huh? I like it. All right, so I think I will just go back and forth like so. Always makes kind of a neat look on the top. Precise definitely is not the name of the game today. If I slowed down, at least I know each bar. You know, it's going to be fine. Each bar is going to have a little different look to it. This does kind of curve those ends, but we're going to um, cut those off anyway. Oops, drip. Ooh, this looks nice. I like it. I think that'll work. Okay, so here we have the yet unnamed soap at the time of making, and I'll see you back here for the cut. Well, I'm back to cut this soap, and I don't know. I think I've decided that I don't want to call it rugged. It is just not that type of a scent to me. It's a little bit more, well, you clean up nice. <laughs> I 
It's a little bit more city boy and a little less country boy if you ask me, but you know, it was a mixture of the um, cool water type and then that country boy fragrance from Just Scent. So it's a little bit different, it's a little fresher. Oh my goodness, I doubt you guys could hear that, but the quarry is blasting and everything just, <laughs> everything just rattled. Oh my, that was a bad one. Gosh, I wonder how many more times they're gonna do that. All right, so, this t I didn't show you the top. The top is spectacular. I'll show you the top on the next one because I got this one set. So let's give this a cut. I'm trying to find a good position for this new camera because it's a little different and sits on the tripod a little different. And um, as a result of that, I don't know, I was getting some shadows and stuff. Not cool. I love how the soap turned out and the top is so neat and it just is so fresh. I'm picking up hints of the patchouli. Um, but it is it's definitely a fresher type, I do believe. A little bit of a cedar wood depth to it also. But it's just not, I don't know, rugged does not fit for me. So I need to come up with a new name. If I haven't come up with it by the time I upload this video, maybe we'll talk about names for it. So we'll just have to pay attention. I'm really pleased with the bat. I think it's going to be a great um, soap to have in the shop. Because it just smells so amazing. Oh look, look there's a heart. <laughs> I'm really pleased with this base color that that brown created and then the blue is really pretty and I like the black swirl so it's a really great um, look for it for sure but I'm gonna have to come up with a new name here's the top of that one isn't that nice love that look Looks like I, did, I didn't bring over something to wipe this off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put it over here to the edge and see if I can get a full bar off this end. Did you see how it like popped over? I haven't quite figured out why it's doing that, but it is. I do think it's about time to invest in a longer cutter since we're doing so many of the 18s now. Before it was just kind of something we did occasionally, but now we've moved to those being the our primary mold. Oh, here we go. Let's look at this top again because it's just so pretty. I love that. So cool. So I don't put it all the way to the end. I mean, I guess it wouldn't matter. It's like the same, gonna be the same thing, ultimately, I guess. Well, let's try it. Let's see what happens if I put this one clear to the end. We'll see if there's anything interesting that happens. Since I'm gonna get this one anyway, maybe it would set better. Although this does seem like it's a little bit thinner for this particular piece so I may not be able to get oh <laughs> that kind of has a the line matches up isn't that fun so let's see yeah it's just a hint thinner than when I do it the other way 
it's almost like kind of reminds me of like stone and like a countertop color it's not like a distinct swirl it's kind of splotchy I love that oh, this one has some like tall like almost like reverse reverse drips nice it's kind of interesting that I called it, maybe we need to do some sort of a stone theme for this one. Maybe that would be a neat idea with the quarry. Oh, that's nice. Distracted <laughs> by the cool bar. Um, with the quarry blasting, and I mentioned that it kind of looks like, some spots kind of look like a granite stone type countertop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I get 11 in a row, so I can go ahead and add these back in here i actually repositioned a bit from where i usually go so i was able to Ooh, those were the extra end ones so let's see okay here we go let's see what happens here okay you know what i think this is better possibly to be doing it this way Gosh, I have to apologize about my shoes. I think I stepped in some castor oil drips, and castor oil is a sticky oil. Look at that. Like, just the stuff that happens up here. I try to get spills cleaned up pretty good, but I've usually already stepped in them by the time I get to it. I've been working with those um, heavier buckets, which I love. But I need to get some sort of like a pail pump or whatever. So here we have the masculine-ish. I don't really like calling soaps, you know, masculine because everybody tends to love all different scents. And you can't really put them into a category. I just don't think that's really fair. But it does lean towards what, what most people would call a masculine soap. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.